Today, we will be comparing the Yeti $50 bottle opener to your kitchen generic bottle opener. Yes, I am not, that was not a typo. I am not going crazy. This right here, Yeti sells a bottle opener for $50. Dollars Right off the bat, yes, I did buy it. Um, I guess that's the cost of doing business. It hurt me inside. It made me so sad that I spent $50 on this thing. It says the Yeti Brick Bottle Opener. Three quarters of a pound of cap popping power. Because one pound would be overkill. Um, how about the fact that the bottle opener comes in a cardboard box? Uh, maybe that's a little overkill. It says, happiness is a bottle of ice cold beer. I say that happiness is not spending $50 on a bottle opener. Um, oh my. Oh my God, this is heavy. So here it is. Look at this thing. Look how big it is. I mean, it is about half of a beer bottle. Um, and it is like, I mean, just listen to that. It is so heavy. It feels like way more than three quarters of a pound. Um, again, you got the Yeti dumbbell in one hand and you got this in the other hand and you are gonna get your New Year's resolution done like that. You are gonna be in such good shape because look at this thing. Why is everything they have so heavy? I think it's because people think that something is worth more if it feels really heavy. This spent all that money on the packaging and I'm just gonna throw it away. And then we have your trusty classic kitchen bottle opener. I can't tell you how much I paid for this because I mean it's been in my kitchen for years and years. Probably paid like 84 cents for it. Um, you got your classic just bottle opener. It probably it, yeah and it also opens up a bottle of wine so it's actually got two purposes. Um, and not just one like this thing. I mean, I, I guess that Kevin McAllister could use this to stop the robbers stealing from the toy store to throwing this through the big window, I guess. This thing is $50. Like right there, that could just be the whole video. I could just go, this thing right here costs $50 and the only thing it does is open up a bottle of beer and just sit here for five minutes and just go like this and let it sink in. You know how much stuff you can buy for $50? You can buy three bushels for the price of one of these. I guess it could be a good paperweight, um, but then again, it's 2019 and no one writes on paper anymore. So obviously we have our classic bush lattes in a bottle. I don't know if I've ever done a video with bush light in a bottle, but, uh, and I know they're twists off and whatever, but, I'm not going to drink any other beer, so I might as well just use the twist-off bottle for the bottle opener. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't warm up for this, so I might pull a muscle lifting this off the ground. Oh my god. Oh god. I need to take a break from holding it. Shoulders on fire. Oh my god, that's cold, and oh my god, this is heavy. So, right there, I just proved that obviously the $50 product works. If it didn't, that would be the most insane, most ludicrous thing on planet Earth. Now we're going to hop over to the generic kitchen bottle opener, pretty light. Oh, brain freeze. I don't know what else you want me to say other than... This, which probably cost me 85 cents five years ago, versus this $50 bottle opener, do the same damn thing, other than it weighs so much more. Um, if you're going to hang this on your wall, because I think that's what this little hole is for, um, you're going to need to reinforce the wall. You maybe even need to hang it on a concrete wall. Because if you put this on some sheetrock, it is going to tear the whole wall down. Confirmed, the Yeti bottle opener brick does the same thing as the kitchen generic one you could get for 85 cents. So I'm going to finish these bush lattes. And I'm going to try not to think about too much that I spent $50 on a bottle opener for this video. <laughs> Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.